You guys ready? Okay, I don't have all day. It's all about your senses. Wine gives you the opportunity to dive deep into your body, mind, and soul. For the blissful 25 minutes you have with each glass, nothing else matters. It truly is incredible. It's one of the finer things in life, not that you guys would know, but it's a good thing you brought two cameras so you can double down the knowledge that I'm about to throw on you today. For example, right here we have a lovely port. Now I know it's a little bit red, but that doesn't mean that it can't still be something special. It's very dear to my heart. I think you guys should probably get to know a little bit more. I'm gonna be getting really technical here, so try and keep up, do your best. Would you like to, well actually, how much do you guys make? Like what, T $10 an hour? In which case, I'm just gonna, just gonna drink this. I don't want you guys to try and sample any of mine. It's top shelf. It's good, take my word for it. Yeah. 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 Two step with me. Two step with me. One. Here comes the two to the three to the four. Everybody drunk out on the dance floor. Baby girl ass jiggle like she want more. Like she a groupie and I ain't even no tour. Maybe cause she heard that I rhyme hardcore. Or maybe cause she heard that I buy out the store. If not, I gotta move on to the next. Oh, here comes the three to the two to the one. Let's go, Amanda. Don't have all day. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, wine is tasty as hell. I mean, it keeps me warm, it gets me drunk, the bottles are cheaper than Burnett's. I mean, come on, what more could I want? Mm. Mm. So my dad's like obsessed with this master sommelier lifestyle or whatever you want to call it. After he passed his exam last year, after like 600 tries, he actually ended up getting me hooked on stuff. He said he'd pay for everything, everything, if I studied and tried my hardest. And I was like, uh, hell yeah. Plus, I just passed my last piss test after my uh, urinating in public charge I got last year. So I think I bring a lot to the table. Fuck, I'm out of your nuts. Are you still fucking paying? I have been going for like 12 minutes. I think it's been. Oh, oh fuck. I still have to go. Shh, the hell over here. What is going on? Wait, what? Oh, my God. Don't hurt me. I need back out. I need back out. You're done. You're done. Made me drop my goddamn donut. You look like a UPS man. I'm going to reach you. I'm going to reach you. My name's Amanda, not Miranda. All right, you're getting out of here. Let's go. I'm going to be a professional wino. My sister and brother-in-law, Mark and Sue, got us hooked! <laughs> At first, it was more of just a hobby. We love our Welch's sparkling juice. But then we moved on to bigger and better things at Sue's place. Margaret's sister is a master sommelier. A real deal wine gal. And my sweet tomcat here encouraged me to do the same. So I graduated from Welch's to the world of wine. What wine is this? Mm, let's taste it and try. That was very good. You're not supposed to swallow it! What was once a mere hobby has now become my life. Tasting it, understanding the process of it all, its roots. It takes years of experience, patience, and dedication. Solmes are experts in the restaurant world. Becoming one is truly a form of art, an art that you cannot help but share with the world. Solmes bring the bottle to life. They enrich their customers dining experience with the knowledge of each and every wine, an absolutely invaluable resource. Running a restaurant without a sommelier 
is like having a blind man lead an army into battle. It's absurd. Simply does not work. Sommeliers guarantee that your restaurant has more business, more wealth, and absolutely wonderful servers. Are you fucking kidding me? Interrupting this interview. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. Are my eyes clear? So, like Psalms, they change the course of our food journey. They provide us our taste buds and our bodies with the best bottles that Mother Nature has like perfectly packaged for us. They know their shit. Tennis balls, uh, freshly cut hose, rose petals, uh, roasted rose petals. No, dried rose petals. Trebbiano originates from Tuscany. Got it, easy. The test is in three weeks. I'm confident that I'll pass. I've only been studying for five years now. <laughs> The test is pretty challenging for some people, but not for me. I am ready for the title of Jonathan McKee, Master Sommelier. It's got a nice ring to it, Ruth, don't you think? I, I think it sounds like, are you getting a profile shot of me? I told you not to get profiles, it makes my chin disappear. Come on, Ruth, get better people, all right? You know, I'm doing my time, how about give a little bit of your time, all right? I'll be in my trailer, which is my room. Tennis balls. Why am I smelling tennis balls? Um, uh, oh, uh, don't be afraid to place your whole nose in the glass. Okay. This will allow your sense of smell to assist in the dissection of the origin and specific contents of the wine. So stick your whole nose in the glass, honey. It, uh, it seems like wafting is getting you nowhere. I married a genius. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, deep crescent oak. Sunset-esque with a dash of... Marmalade on toast. Yeah. At least 35 years old. Dare I say California. Oh, looks like I'm the one who married the genius. Oh, oh isn't she great? Yep, the, the test will most definitely be a huge hurdle. Uh, but Tom and I have been doing our research. But I feel prepared. So, I mean, theory is the most demanding part of this three-part exam, no question about it. You have to know grape varieties, international wine laws, and global wine regions. You have to know the fortified wines and their vinification. And you also have to know, of course, proper storage and handling. It's all essential information if you want to be a master sommelier. You know, some people have it in their head that they can just like, oh, like, I'll just go get it. Like, no, I mean, less than 30% of people who take this exam actually pass, you know, and people don't just get it the first time around, except, of course, once, uh, when that, once it's happened. Uh, actually, you're looking at it right here. It's this one. Um, I did it. That's theory. Do you need to talk about tasting also? Yes, okay. Mr. Gibson, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. So, the tasting part for most people is easier than theory, you know? But for some it may not be, who knows? But it's 25 minutes of just intense like smelling and understanding and just looking into really deep within you to find where this wine comes from. Okay, we're done. That, I don't have much to say about the tasting part because like you should get it. All right, um, you know what? I need to practice my putting. So, get my putter. Patty. Yes, Mr. Gibson. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, I got my bowl in here, too. Can I get that hat? Also? But it's my hat. Yeah, but, like, I like it, you know? And it, I th honestly, I think I would look better, and, like, so I'm doing you a service. No, you look good in that one. Thank you. Uh, candidates are scored based on their verbal abilities to clearly and accurately describe describe six various long six various wines within 25 minutes. Identification of grape varieties, district of appellation, and origin are necessary. Okay. 
Tart as shit. A uh, couple of red grapes, green grape, sparkling bullshit, Trader Joe's, aisle six within within the last five years. <laughs> Nailed it. The second part of the test is my personal favorite. While it is rigorous and one must be quick on their feet, I cannot help but find it to be the most exciting. Practical restaurant wine service and salesmanship. I'll have discussed the menu and the wine list, finding the perfect pairing of food to its wine counterpart. Now, this requires a very high level of efficiency and proficiency, both of which I'm stocked up with. Good evening, man. My name's Jonathan. I'll be your server today. At this point, I'd discuss my knowledge of the wine, where it came from, how it was made, the process of it all. All that encyclopedic knowledge that I've been studying and put in this brain. Share something special with the customer, but I'm already sharing myself, so that's special enough. Now, I noticed that you got yourself some very nice uh, chicken bits there. I think that might pair very well with a red wine I've been saving for someone special. And, well, today that's you. Let me go down to the cellar. Now, I, I know you're uh, probably uh, from out of the area, but I have to say that what you're getting right now is something really special. Is that enough? Well, don't want to get you too tipsy. Not yet. <laughs> oh, you want me to join you? Well, don't mind if I do. But enough about me. Tell me about yourself. I heard you just blew into town. Now, I don't... Oof. Yeah, so that's what I've done for you. We should probably cover you up somehow. Now, you may be wondering why I've been talking about restaurants so much. Well, that's because I completely intend to open up my own. Here, I've actually been workshopping a couple of names. What do you think about You Turn Me John? How about The Wine Cellar? We replace the C with an S. It's clever, right? How about a tech-themed place? I feel like that's coming up in the world, so we'll call that the USB port. Mm -hmm. All right, well, how about Menage Sink instead of Menage a Trois? Okay. So I know we've been featuring a lot of reds and I seem to have a compassion for them, which I do, but I find whites to be superior. White Zinfandel, nothing better. So I was thinking of calling this place White Power. No, wait. It's become part of my routine. I wake up, take a sick day at work, and begin my studies. Hey. Yeah, it's Jonathan again. I'm, <coughs> I'm still, I'm still sick, still sick. And Failure is not an option for me. I put way too much time, money, and sick days into this. So we got another day to ourselves. I must become a master some way. Eh? She misses me. Just take, calm down, lady. What was that, Ruth? Something to laugh about? Yeah. This isn't a laughing matter. It's just weird that, that that's what you have sex with. It's weird. Excuse me. First of all, love making, all right? Sex is a very crass word. Second of all, she's a... Are you... D who is this guy? He's a professional. Do you Jonathan. pay him to, like, be up my butt butthole? We're all on the understanding that you would be filmed throughout the course of this journey. Okay. All right. Well, right now is just a, it's a really tough time for me right now. I'd appreciate it if you climbed out of my butt and just let me do my thing, okay? And... F you know, actually, you know what? Can we call it a day? Can we call it a day? Fine. Cut! Oh yeah, it's making me nervous. The date is creeping up on me. Uh, hun, a little bit higher to the right, please. It looks like Italia is slanted. Thank you. Anyways, I feel like I'm doing the best I can for the time I have left. So. Oh, Marg, I am so excited for you. Can you raise it a little bit higher, please? Thank you. All right, perfect. I read on Google that I only need a 75% on each section to pass. Well, it sounds doable to me, sweetheart. Tom, it's crooked. Can you please focus on the task at hand? Thank you. Well, someone's a little grumpy pants today. You know what? You know what? You're right. I'm sorry, Pooter. I was out of line. I guess my nerves are just getting the best of me. It's okay, honey bunch. I should have known it was too far left. You'll always be the sweetest grape in the bunch. Oh. oh. Amanda? Amanda, are, are you all right? Uh, <coughs> Can you tell us a bit about how you're preparing for this exam? What exam? What are you talking about? I already graduated. Your master sommelier exam. Oh, that's not tomorrow, right? Mm. 
So, do you know anything about these chaps? Well, I know that the male is a wine connoisseur and the little lady is a college grad. So quite the mix, if you ask me. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a new friendship for us, doesn't it? Tom, watch out. Oh, boy. That's just the Barts. We'll be fine. Where are these people? We were supposed to meet at three. You can't trust anybody these days, am I right? Especially not white people that smile too much. It's very off-putting and I... <laughs> Howdy, sir! Hello! So, you must be my wife's competition. You realize we're not competing against each other, right? Hey, Tom, you gonna introduce me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my incredible wife, Margaret. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Where are the cameras? No, oh. I'm missing. First my cardigan, and now my chair. Yeah, no, please. Plenty, plenty of seats. We're, there's seats everywhere. I hope our kids look like him. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's so stylish, too. Just look at him. Oh, and your glasses. Are those like Louis? Maybe Louis Vuitton? No. Goose. They must be Goosey. Goosey, that's it. Yeah? That's it. Look at him. Look at him. Where is that other girl? <gasps> so strong. Ooh. Ah. Wow. Okay, let's just get started. She's late. Her loss. Waiter, can we get the bottles? You Great, okay, thanks. Okay. So, what we're going to be doing first is the tasting portion, Martha. So, what oh, we need. It's Margaret. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Would you mind pouring the glasses for us? Oh, yes, okay. Uh, white, white Tom, is. You know how to do this. Uh, white is right, okay. This one, this one's white. Oh, holy cannoli, that smells amazing, Tommy. What do you think, Jonathan? The color's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's definitely from the tip of southern France. A smoky, burning rubber. Hmm. Pear tears, definitely pear tears, and a to nut grape from Madrian origin, but the brew itself, France, goes beautifully with duck. And you know what I say, goes good with duck, even better after a <laughs> Goal nice... Lee! Huh, Mr. Johnny! Wow, you nailed that one right in the head, like, wow! Fantastic job! Ooh, okay, my turn. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, that's bitter. That's bitter, you know what? It tastes a little bit like wet stones with a dash of kerosene. Yeah, there's definitely mineral taste in there. We know what that means. It's an aged Riesling. No, or a Chablis. No, it's a Riesling. It's Riesling from Moselle, Germany. That's what it is. Yep, yep. <sighs> 1977. That's my final answer. Tom, how to do, how to do. Uh, uh, Riesling? Moselle, Germany? 1977, my gal got it. Oh. Oh. Okay, all right, come on. Can we continue? Oh, fuck. I mean, I'll just pour her a glass. She'll no, here she's late. Yeah. Pour us another glass, okay? Oh, but there's only... Sir, a bottle for you and your party. Perfect. What a pour. Really, she's really late. incredible yeah. stuff. Wow, That's I can't believe it. Perfect. Yeah, really, really blow me away there. It looks like real difficult stuff. Now, okay. That's unripened tobacco leaf. That means oh, Chateau nice. de Pape, right. southeastern France, yeah. 1893. Wow. <laughs> Golly! That was fast. That was speedy, just, yeah. just read the label, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Chateauneuf de du Pape. Yeah! I knew it. Oh, no, keep, Johnny, good job. Keep, keep clapping, though. I like that. Wow. Good. Is this the uh, wine I was tasting thing? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm late. I uh, was at work. Okay, yeah. We just finished that. We're wrapping up, so you're late. Hello! Uh, I am Margaret. This here is Jonathan. This here is my That's loyal husband, Tom. Come on over here. We have lots of room for here. There goes $10 glass. Are you going to pay for that? Hey, welcome to this side of the table. The wrong side of the table. It's got four sides. We got four people here. Why is everybody on this side of the table? You guys are freaking weirdos. It's cozy. Ruth, join us. I'm just looking forward to the wine tasting part. I mean, I'm pretty sure my lover's about to give out, but who cares? My dad would just buy me a new one. He knows how hard and how dedicated I am to doing this thing. Plus, I can't wait to stop hanging out with these whack-ass people. <coughs> oh, look! Another text from Jonathan. Do not bother coming in today. You're going to be late. I'm like, you see what I mean? 
Okay, Hemi, you got this. What was the origin? Italy. Easy. Okay, good. Um, what about the aroma? Rubber hose. Obvious. Uh, Potato chips. Basic. No. You can do a lot of that was really close. Yeah. You're, 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 you're late. Again. Do you even care? What's that smell? What smell? Are you smoking cigarettes before coming into my house? Oh my god. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not only are cigarettes detrimental to your delicate palate, but they'll ruin my sofas! Wait, you're kidding. He's kidding, right? Get out. Out! Get out! Yeah! This is so bullshit! Language! Tension. I mean texture. Texture. We're texture. Um. Uh, silk. Uh, n no. Bougie motherfucker. Okay, you got this. It wasn't silk. Just. Okay, come on. You've been on the same card for like twenty minutes. You gotta go faster. Origin. Smell. Uh, uh, texture. Okay. It's all okay. Part of the um. Tensions seem a bit high, Lassie. Um. Why don't we all just take a breather and. Ask Amanda to come back in. She could use the help. Absolutely not. She has shown no effort towards this exam. She clearly lacks respect for tomorrow and me. I, I mean us. She has no respect for us. This could be her way of dealing with stress. Kooky ways from a kooky gal. You got that right, sister. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Great angel pie. <laughs> she was born ready for this. <laughs> I even got my lucky socks on. Oh my goodness. They look just as good as when we first met. <laughs> they worked wonders for us on our wedding night. Oh, Paul Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tasting, studying, and testing the best that I have in my entire life. When it comes to life, you don't just get things handed to you. The car's ready, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell is this? What? I was I was up all night studying. No respect. Absolutely no respect. Well, that's not how to start a day now, is it? <laughs> you? are a disgrace to this community and a disgrace to the female race. Okay, first of all, females aren't even a race, so... Well, they're more, they can keep up. Hey, excuse me, are you guys here for the Somalia convention? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, if you're talking about the Somalia exam, then sure thing, pal. <laughs> it's a test. Since when? Oh, well, he seems a little bummed. We're worse off than Amanda. <laughs> uh, look, buddy, uh, I think you might be in the wrong place. If you don't mind, get out. What are they talking about? Hello, is everybody ready to get started? Yes, absolutely. Uh, first, we have Jonathan yeah, McKee yeah, yeah, on right. here. Is that's you? Yeah. That's okay, right. let's get to the examination. All right, great. So I was thinking that if please uh, don't touch me. Yeah, no problem. No, of course. Uh, so I was thinking, like, I know. Also, silence is appreciated all the way to the examination area. You can hold your questions till afterwards. Yeah, no problem. Let's just seal.
Thank you, Tom. Yes. You're welcome. Right there, right there. Oh, There's right his dress. Yep, okay. right there. Thank you. Oh, sweet Tomcat. Yeah. My Tim Tom. Oh, my, my dear Tommy Mark. Toms. Oh, you're so oh, sweet. Oh, Tom, God, no. I need Amanda Jenkins. Hello! Who? Stop. What? This will be interesting. Told me to leave. <laughs> we put your maps on the wall. You're right. you got this. Okay, you can do this. Yes, yes you can do this. <gasps> uh, you're Margaret Funkel. Yep, that's me. Okay, are you ready? I was born ready. Um, hey. Knock him dead, honey. Thank you. All right, let's get on the way then. Right. No, you need to stay back here. It's for test takers only. Okay, that's enough. No, get your hand up, please. Welcome everybody to the 69th Annual Master Sommelier Certification Ceremony, the largest of its kind in the East Coast of the United States. <coughs> Get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. Uh, <coughs> keep going. And <coughs> congratulations for making it this far. You know, it's an accomplishment on its own. However, most of you will leave here disappointed and only a few of you will leave here with what you came for, a certification and your life back in order. So, without further ado, let's announce this year's recipients. Joanna S Whoa, yeah! Joanna Smith. What? Congratulations. And Margaret from <gasps> oh, 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 You did a snuggle bear right oh, You could! Oh, holy cannoli, Tom! Sue is gonna be shot. Oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations right. to the recipients. Oh. Has she been here the whole time? Hey, I, I think that's Amanda. Oh, I missed her! What the hell is this? This is not a Somalian conference! I think she's locked out. I'm still in shock. What a dream! Oh, pardon my French, but this is some bullshit. What are your plans, hon? Well, I'm gonna call up Sue, tell her about the great news, and then I'm gonna hop in the bathtub and relax. Years of hard work wasted! Also, freaks one and two can get the privilege of a goddamn lifetime! Great job out there, Johnny boy! Great job out there, Johnny boy! Shut up your ass! God damn it! I was gonna open a restaurant. Does anybody care? Where did I park? So, I got banned from the society. Dad is gonna be pissed. Um, at least I got this fucker. God damn it. God damn it. You goddamn sons of bitches, motherfuckers! You s fuck a duck! Fuck a duck! You can all suck my nuts! Siri, find me a therapist. You fucks, get the fuck out of here! Well, I'm gonna be- with you on such a personal, like a personal level, you know? It's my man. It's just, it's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Scene 27, shot three, take six! Yes, Queen! Yes, Mr. Queen! Yes, Father! I don't care! I'm it! Yes. Cusco. Cusco's poison. Nice. Whoa! Got some senoritas. It's absurd! Simply does not work. They uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> to practice my putting, so get my putter.